you know i never saw his video before you know so i just had the feeling i should you know check out the video you know so he started like teaching i think it was a live video or so it was already recorded or so i can't really recall what video it was and you know he just all of a sudden started teaching about the ufos which are the crafts of the most high the chariots of the most high and i was like wow 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 what a moment that's what i dreamt of you know so everything just connected all in that second you know what i dreamt of this the, the craft that i saw in my my dreams and you know everything just like you know came all together and i was so i was so amazed about this teaching because all my life i'm 33 you know, I was 33 when I get to know the truth, you know. I never heard about, you know, teaching teachings of the scriptures that way. I never saw anyone break down the scriptures the way, you know, this elder Manatazak was breaking down the scriptures, you know. So I just like, you know, started watching all day that video, different videos from his channel, you know. And he also started teaching about the smoking demon and everything, you know. That was the first time, you know, I was going to hear someone teach about the smoking demon and, you know, give me the real reason why I should stop, you know. Before, you know, I always justify myself with, you know, some stupid verses, some not really, you know, some stupid flimsy, how should I put it, excuses, you know. Sometimes I even bring out, you know, you know, I, I learned some things from the YouTube, you know, where people bring out verses that, that, that seem like, you know, giving you the go ahead to, to smoke and stuff like that. So it's teaching actually like just, you know, opened my eyes and you know, I just felt like, yeah, this man is this man is right. I need to stop this thing, you know. So to cut the long story short. You know, I started learning more about the Great Millstone. I got to know the the, the, the elder apostle, the, uh, the apostle Taha, the apostle Gabar, the apostle Aramla, the apostle Raka, you know. So I started like watching videos from apostle Taha when he was making these breakdowns of um the book of Genesis. And I was so amazed by the you know just looking at these people i had the feeling like wow these are the true men of the most high yahweh bashem yahweh shai you know i didn't have the name then i didn't have the name but you know every teaching everything you know was just like flowing it felt like i knew these things before and they're just bringing it back to my memory and you know i never i never had people you know teach me this way and you know things just go it pierced through my DNA. So I'm just going to like, you know, prove it with the, with the scripture what actually happened there. So I'm going to read from the book of, um, always the book of John, chapter 14, 26. So he quotes, and this is Yahweh Shai speaking. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, the Ruka Kodash, from the Father Yahweh, will send in my name. He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Wow. And, you know, this is actually what happened to me, you know. It just like, and this, this verse, I think it also, in my own way of viewing it, I think it also proves, you know, the reincarnation, you know. So it felt like these were things that I already knew about and they were just bringing them to my remembrance, you know. Everything was just clicking. Everything was clicking, you know. But then I was still holding to my contract, you know, and everything, you know. I was waiting to, you know, to get more money from from the contract. I didn't want to accept the 110000 pounds i wanted two hundred thousand pounds you know so i was still having that in mind you know i didn't see anything wrong and you know chasing after my career so until the day i watched the video by 
by the Apostle Gabba. You know, he was teaching on the street and he had, you know, a lot of other elders around him, you know. And he was teaching about he was teaching about different things and he spoke and he made he made he made a sentence like he also wanted to do music. He was also I don't know if I'm wrong, someone should correct me. But if I if I can recall, I think it's the Apostle Gabba. You know, he was just talking about he wanting to become a musician as well. That we shouldn't go after all that crap, you know. The men of the most high shouldn't go after all that, you know. Uh this thing actually cut me deep into my to my soul, like you know, I didn't want to let go of what I just got, you know. So these people actually stay right at me for some time, you know, I would just not respond. You know, I would just not respond, you know. We're like, hey, what's going on? And blah blah. We should we already fixed that date, you should meet with a lawyer, blah blah and so place. So I was supposed to go to the Italian branch here close to where I where I live, you know, to get things done with my lawyer. But I would just ignore the messages because, you know, my conscience actually was telling me, hey, 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 after all this truth you're learning and you still go ahead and do all that, what's going to happen to you? So I'm just going to read from the book of Mark. Chapter 8, verse 36. So this is actually what was coming to my mind at that point. This is also, this is always Yahushai speaking. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Wow. So I was just thinking, you know, I, I started watching these videos and, you know, different elders making different breakdowns, you know talking about how the music business is dirty, you know, how people sacrifice themselves, sell their souls to get this fame. And all these things were just, you know, cutting me into pieces, cutting my heart into pieces, you know. My joy actually just turned into bitterness, you know, and I wished I never learned about this truth, you know. At that moment, I actually wished I never knew about this truth, you know. So if I wanted to like make steps, respond and be like, you know, that thing would be there in my in my spirit telling me, you know, you know the truth and you're still going ahead to do this thing, man. Your punishment is going to be double, you know. So this, I keep hearing this voice like telling me this thing in my mind, you know. So now that I'm into the truth, you know, I guess that was the Ruka Kodash, the Holy Ghost, you know trying to speak to me, minister to me, and that's just, you know, how how merciful the Most High is, you know. He's always there. And I believe each for each of these artists that ended up, you know, signing these contracts, they also had things like this. Things like this definitely happened to them, you know. They were getting clues from the, from the Holy Ghost, you know, prompting and telling them, you know, hey, don't get into this thing, don't get into this thing, you know. But some people just, you know, just go ahead and, you know, they all, it's all about the money, you know, the fame and everything, you know, they just go ahead, you know, and the deal on the table is kind of like, you know, enticing, so enticing, they can't just let go, you know. So we got to that point, you know, I just had to take a fast, a three days fast in order to stop my, to kill, to say, chase away the smoking demons I had on me. You know, so I took a three days fast, you know. So, you know, during these three days, you know, I was just kept on watching videos by different brothers, different elders, you know, you know, really just going deep into this thing. And, you know, my spirit was just like it was going through a rehab. It was going through a rehab, you know. And that kind of brother, you know, used to get different girls and all these things, you know. I just, like, started stopping everything, you know. I didn't find interest in anything anymore, you know. I didn't want to go out. I didn't want to club. I didn't want to do anything, you know. I just, you know, just fisting this truth, you know. I was going through a rehabilitation, you know. Um, 
So I'm going to go, I'm going to, I'm going to read from the book of John, you know, before I continue. Book of John chapter 16, verse 13, which quotes, How bait when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, but shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Wow, this is this this is this is actually part of what was happening to me. You know, the spirit of truth was ministering to me. You know, it was just true, true. The elders, the apostles, starting from Apostle Gabar. Oh, I'm sorry, starting from the Apostle Taha. Yeah, the Apostle Gabar also was. You know, it was great instrument in the hands of the Most High. You know, in helping me through that music. You know. When he spoke about he wanting to do music and he just had to let go of that crap, you know, that was where I got that str strong courage from and be like, yeah, I just need to drop all this, you know, that was where I knew actually that it was wrong if I had to like sign for that contract. So to cut the long story short, on the third day that I was going to break my fast, you know, then actually, you know, I wasn't fasting the right. I didn't know, I didn't know the truth. I didn't have the truth about the calendar and days of the week. You know, how to calculate. You know how the day starts at sundown. You know and ends at sundown. You know, so I was just doing it my way. You know, but I could fast all day and just take one hour out to eat and start again. That was what I was doing actually. And, you know, in my own little way, the most I actually saw my the sincerity in my heart, like, I really wanted to change. I really wanted to do things. I really wanted to be an instrument in the hands of the most I. So it really helped me. On the third day, you know, I just got a message from from them, from Nike, you know, like, hey, we, we accepted the 200,000 pounds, you know. You can, yeah, we accepted the 200,000 pounds. Let's, you know, let's go for the contracts. You know, let's fix a date. When is it com convenient for you, you know? And they told me if I needed um, a quick 50,000 pounds loan, they could just do that all straight on the go, you know? If I needed to just get myself stuff, you know, we're going to get me new wares, everything from Nike, you know? Everything looked sweet and I was yet to break that fast on that day, you know. But I was so strong in the spirit that day that the first thing that came to my mind was, you know, that story of Yahweh Shai on the mountain where, you know, Satan, after his 40 days fasting, and Satan came to him and was like, you know, if you bow to me, I'll give you all this and all that. You know, that was what exactly came into my mind. And wow, I just, I don't know where I got that courage from, you know. And I just responded and I was like, I'm sorry. I'm no longer interested in this deal, you know. They were like, how oh, come? What happened? This, blah, this, that. They were surprised, you know. They were like, okay, you give us an offer, make an offer make an offer i was like it's not about the money you know it's about me following my heart and you know i think i found the truth and i just don't want to sign this contract anymore and they kept on insisting you know these people they kept on insisting for some time and be like you know maybe if you change your mind you can come back you know we actually counting on you, you know, you know, you can now you can make the offer that you want, you know, give us a price and we're ready, you know, down for it and whatever, you know. So, you know, I was just speaking to my mom because I already told her about the deal and, you know, we we're already happy. I was like, I was going to get a house and everything, you know. So I needed to start explaining to all and, you know, like, you know. You know, I'm not going to sign this contract because it's not healthy for my soul. You know, I found the truth and, you know, most of my friends around me who knew about this, you know, they were just like dumbfounded. Like, they th they actually thought I was going crazy, you know. They thought I was going, going, going crazy, you know. They were like, how are you going to, 
refuse such offer what's bad about it you know you can always worship god and you know go after your dreams but they can't understand they can't understand they can't understand so i just had to like you know take this decision you know and you know ever since then my life hasn't been the same you know the people that i used to that used to be my friends you know everyone just likes cutting off and people were just like you know i until it got to a point where i was just all alone all by myself you know no friends you know even when i had problems in my my family circle some cousins you know you know you know talking about me being like you know i'm joining some some cult or something you know you know so they they were they, they had different vision they were saying in black and white while i was saying in color in 3D, you know, this truth actually just, you know, did an operation to my soul, changed me, turned me to a different person, you know, so that's why I have to give all thanks to the Most High for, for using the Apostles, starting from the Apostle Taha, you know, all the way down to the rest of the Apostle, Apostle Gaba, Apostle Ramla, you know, Big shout out to the to the elder Manata Zach, you know he was he was instrumental in my my wake up. He was he was actually an instrument in the hands of the Most High in waking me up, you know. Shout out to the elder Watchman, um GMS Watchman. He was also instrumental in my wake up, because most of the videos he he did, you know. They were actually all about, you know, the history of who we are. And, you know, those things, they really woke me up. And here I am today. I give up all these things and I think I found joy. I'm happy. I went back to the plantation, I'm walking in the plantation, you know, <laughs> I'm walking in the plantation, walking out my myself, you know. So, and, you know. I'm just waiting for, I'm just waiting for that kingdom, just waiting for salvation. I'm waiting for the day Yahweh Shah will come back and, you know, change things all around. This is the hope that I have. This is the joy. This is the thing that gives me joy. This is the sense that I found, I found in life, you know, before life that didn't make no sense. He actually, he, he absolutely made no sense, you know. Get as much as much money as you can, you know, leave it up and do all that, you know. You know, now I found sense to my life from this truth that I know today. And, you know, I just started like, you know, posting stuffs. I made my first video on YouTube. I posted it. I got lots of great positive response from different elders like that I was not really expecting to get from, you know. And this also gave me a great charge, you know, the Apostle Gabar, I saw their lessons, they spoke about, they spoke about the brother from Italia, you know, doing his thing and all those things, you know, gave me a huge charge, you know, to go harder, you know. So, all the brothers started contacting me, you know, in Italy. And so, I, this brother that we are in the video together, wow. His story is stronger than my story. And this was, I'm just going to share a short part of how he got to accept the truth. And this is just, oh, I just don't know. I don't have the words to say. So to just cut the long story short, I posted some things on WhatsApp, on my status on WhatsApp, you know. I posted, you know, the picture I got from the Great Millstone website. You know, which is Yahawashai's true color and, you know, um, um, the, the, the scriptural verses, which is Revelations, I think, um, 1, 13 or so, and the book of Daniel 10, 2 or so. If I'm mistaken, someone can put them down. So, you know, I just posted this stuff on my status on WhatsApp and... You know, this brother is a friend, he's a friend of mine, we've been friends for a long time, you know, he comes from a good family, you know, he's a pure Italian, you know, but I think, um, yeah, his father actually comes from the southern side of Italy, you know, which makes him a Jake, 
So, it just broke me one day, and it was like, I actually posted a photo of um Yahawa Shai's face, you know, being a black, a Negro, a Negro person, you know. So he just wrote me and he asked me a question. He was like, hey, who's that photo you posted? And I was like, here we go again. I said this to myself because I I was actually convinced I'm losing a friend, you know. And I didn't really even just care about what was going to happen, you know. So I just said straight up, I was like, yeah, that's the true image of the son of the most high. I was expecting it was going to write things like, um, yeah, you've been racist or whatever. Like I got from different other people, you know, and they just cut themselves up. They cut themselves away. So instead of getting that, I was surprised this brother actually just be like, I knew it. I knew it. I've always known there is something fishy about this white Jesus. And I was like, wow. And ever since that day, he's always called me. I've taught him a lot about the scriptures, everything I was learning from the elders and apostles. You know, I was just transferring it back to him. And man, brother went <laughs> went a long way. Like he, he has problems with his family. Yeah, <laughs> lost all his friends and you know people started seeing him like a crazy person just like me and yeah we are we did the video and you know by the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by the grace of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai you know all the other brothers started like you know just linking up to us you know right in now we have another brother in Rome brother Daniela is also a speckled bed is a pure Italian, but has, you know, Jake roots, you know. So we have another brother from Milan, you know. So people are just like, you know, we just, we, we, we were gathering ourselves. And yeah, very soon we're actually planning to have a reunion. Because the problem is we're living in different states and we're so far from ourselves, you know. So this brother actually, you know, he drove all the way from his city to my city. And, you know, he came to see me and we just put together that video and that was just the first one and this is the reaction we get from it and we're really grateful to the most high Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for making us you know instruments in his hands you know for being a part of you know this great this great mission you know which is actually the ambition that each one of us needs to have as an Israelite ambition is that of walking in this vine for the most I Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai and bringing back the lost sheep of Israel to their remembrance bringing them back to the flock and you know the time is short you know there ain't no long time you know we can see everything that's going on um yeah so I'm not going to keep this video too long and this is this is it um all praises all thanks and adorations to the most high Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Ruka Kodash. I hope um, you all was edified by this testimony of mine. And the next one is going to be the testimony of my of my brother, the guy on the right side of the video, um, which is the speckled bed. His testimony is way, way strong. He's a brother that, you know, Everything I was just telling him, I told him to pray. And each time he prays, you know, the most I would give him a vision, you know, give him heavy visions like, wow, he himself, like sometimes he even tried to like, you know, cut me off and not reach me anymore because this truth was just ruining everything in his life, you know. But each time he tried to do that, he gets a vision and he has to come back and call me again and ask for explanation ah, it's really it's really powerful the way the most high yahweh bashem yahweh shai works you know so to my brothers spread around the four corners of the earth you know those of you in the united states you know working hard you know we're praying for you guys we're actually praying for you guys daily and you know we hope to catch up with y'all on the chariot on that day that would be the most happiest day of our whole existence you know that day I'm just going to, you know, meet with this apostles, the apostle Taha, the apostle Gabar, 
the apostle Aramla, the apostle Raka, and all the elders, the great elders, you know, the elder Manata Zak, and all the great men like the the GMS watchman, the apostle, the, the apostle Tazawan, you know, all of y'all, I can't just remember these names, you know, on that day we're going to meet on that spaceship. With this said, I'd say Shalawam, Abad Babal.